Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name's Wyatt, and today I'll be teaching you how to script a suggestion GUI on Roblox. Okay, so before I show you how to make this script, I just want to show you how it works. So all we have to do is go into the game, and as you'll see, we'll have this button on the bottom right hand of our screen, and when we click on it, this GUI comes up. What we can do is if we type in our suggestion, and then we click submit, it'll come over to a channel in Discord. Okay, so now that you know what this script does, I actually want to show you how to make it. So the first thing that we have to do before we even get into coding, we have to go over to Discord and we have to create something called a webhook. Now all a webhook is, is a way for us to allow Roblox to communicate to Discord super easily. So all we're going to do, we're going to hop on over to Discord and you want to go into your server that you created. And what we want to do, we want to create a new text channel and I'm just going to call it suggestions, but you could call it whatever you'd like. Uh, and then inside of this channel, we want to go to the edit channel button and this like little settings icon right here. And then you'll see what we have. We have all these different tabs. We have overview, we have permissions, we have invites, and we have webhooks. We want to head over to the webhooks tab because this is where we're going to create our webhook for Roblox to communicate to Discord. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this big blue create webhook button right here. And what we want to do, we want to specify all these different parameters for our webhook. So I want to give it a name, I want to set, select a channel, and then I want to also upload an image, that's an optional step, but I think it's always cool to upload an image to your webhook. So what we'll do, we're going to give it a name, I'm going to name my suggestions bot, uh, I have my channel selected, which is the suggestions channel, and I don't want to upload an image, but you could if you'd like. And the real super important part, the really important part of this, so Roblox knows exactly how to communicate with Discord, is this webhook URL. All you want to do is double click it, and then you can click right click, and then you can copy it, or you can do control C and control V. Um, but what we want to do, we just want to copy that to our clipboard, and we're going to save it for a little bit later, because this is what we're going to put inside of Roblox so that it can send data up to Discord. After this, what we want to do, we're going to click save, and then we're going to head right on back to Roblox Studio. And then inside Roblox Studio, we can start coding this. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we want to create a new server script under server script service. And I bet you're probably wondering, why, why would we create a server script when we're, this is just a GUI? This is just a GUI. It all runs locally. And the reason why we're creating a server script is because we need this to communicate to Discord. And the only way for us to do that, the only way Roblox lets us do that is through a server script. So I created a new server script under server script service. And I'm just going to name this Suggestions Manager. But you can name it whatever you'd like. After this, what we want to do after we create this script, we want to write our first line, we'll delete our print hello world, and we want to get a reference to the HTTP service. And now the only reason I'm getting a reference to the HTTP service is because this is how we post data to a URL, and in this case our webhook is a URL, so we need HTTP service to do this, to communicate outside of Roblox. So I'll say local HTTP service equals game colon get service, HTTP service, and then I also want to create a variable for the webhook URL that we just copied to our clipboard. So I'll say local webhook URL equals, and then I'll put two quotes because it's a string, and then we just want to paste in that URL that we just made. Um, after this, what we want to do, I just created a function. You can copy it from the code in the description. I'm not going to explain it, but all this does, it's a post to Discord function, and all this uses is it uses the HTTP service and it makes it super easy for us to send data up to Discord. All we have to do is call it, so post to Discord, and then we pass in our message. So if I wanted to say like, hi, we could do that, but we all this is what we're gonna use to actually send our suggestions up to Discord. After you have that function pasted in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new remote event under replicated storage. And the reason we're creating a remote event is because we need a way to communicate from our local script, which has the GUI and has when we click the buttons and stuff, up to our server script, which actually communicates with Discord from Roblox to Discord. So we'll create a new remote event under replicated storage, and I'm just gonna name it suggest, but you can name it whatever you'd like. Um, and now what we want to do is we want to get whenever this remote event is fired. So in this case, what we're going to do in our GUI, we're going to get, we'll create a new GUI and we're going to get whenever they click the suggest button, whenever they want to send up a suggestion, we're going to fire this event right here. We're going to call the fire method of this event. And then we want to hook into that on our server script. We want to get whenever that event is fired. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to get a reference to our event by saying game.replicatedStorage.suggest. And then I want to hook into the dot on server event event of this remote event. So we'll say dot on server event connected up to a function. And then inside of this function, I have two parameters that I'd like to get. I'd like to get the player that fired the event so we know who wants to make the suggestion. 
and then I also want to get the suggestion itself so we know what the player, you know, what it actually is that the player wants to suggest so we can put it to Discord. And what we want to do in here is we want to send data up to Discord. We want to send the data to Discord. And the way we do that is by calling the post to Discord function we just created. And then in here, what we want to do is we want to make it look on Discord something like we want to say maybe suggestion from, and then we want to say the player name, which in this case would be orange 4221 we want to put a colon and then we want to put the suggestion itself. And the way we do this, we have to basically mimic this through a string. We have to get the player name, which would replace RNG 4221, and then we also have to replace the suggestion here text with the player's suggestion. So the way we do this is by concatenating strings together. All it means is that we're adding different text pieces together. Different pieces of text and different variables. We're just concatenating them, we're adding them together. So we'll just create a quote right here, and we're going to say suggestion from. We're going to put a space, and then onto that we want to add, so we have a suggestion from, we want to add the player's name. So I'll say player.name, and I'm going to add from here, I want to add a colon like we have right here. And then I also want to add onto that the suggestion itself, and luckily we have our suggestion variable that we grab in this remote event. So I'll just pass that in. And this is it for the service script. Whenever we fire this remote event from our client side, it's going to post it up to Discord, and it's going to do exactly what we're looking for. So we have that created, now we can actually get into creating our suggestions GUI. So all you're going to want to do is create a new GUI, you want to create a new screen GUI underneath of starter GUI, because this is what's going to contain all of our elements, and under this I'm not going to make it step by step, but you can use the model in the description if you'd like. Um, all we want to have is a suggestions frame, which is this back blue piece right here. We want to have a submit button with the player will press to submit their suggestion, a suggestion box where they type their suggestion, and then a button to toggle the GUI on and off so it's not always on their screen. After you have these elements created, we can actually get into scripting this and make it work. So all I'm going to do is create a new local script under the suggestions GUI, and I'm just going to name it suggestions script, but you can name it whatever you'd like. Uh, and then inside of the script, of course, as we always do with local scripts, the first thing we want to do is get a reference to our local player. So let's say local player equals game.players.localPlayer. And then after this, we have about four variables we want to set up. We want to get variables for each and every one of these different GUI elements. So we want a variable for the suggestion frame, the submit button, the suggestion box, and the toggle button. And the reason I'm doing this is just to make our code look a little bit nicer. We could just say script.parent for all these things, but it's much more efficient to make variables. So I'll say, I'll go back to our script, and then I'll say local toggle button. We'll create that first. Equals script.parent.toggle button. And that's just the button that toggles the GUI on and off right here. Next, I want to get a reference to our suggestions frame, which is this frame right here. So local suggestions frame equals script.parent.suggestions frame. And then after this, I want to get variables for both of these different boxes and buttons inside of here, the suggestion box and the suggestion button. So I'll just say local suggestion box equals suggestions frame dot suggestion box, just like this, because suggestions frame suggestions box. And we want to do the same thing for the submit button. Local submit button equals suggestions frame dot submit button. There we go, we have all of our variables set up, so now we can actually get into making the GUI function. So what we want to do, the first thing we want to do is get whenever this button is clicked. Now the way we're going to do this is we're going to say whenever the player clicks this toggle button right here, we want to say if the GUI is in invisible, if it's not visible currently, if it's not open, it's closed, then we want to open it up, we want to make it visible. Otherwise, if it's already open, then we want to make it invisible. So if it was like this, if it was like this, like the GUI was invisible, and we click the button, we want to set the visible property to true. Otherwise, when we click it, if it's already open, we want to set the visible property to false. And the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to say toggle button dot mouse button one click. We're going to get whenever it's clicked, connect it up to a function. And then inside of this function, I want to do an if statement to replicate what I was just talking about. So we'll say if suggestions frame dot visible is equal to true, then, so if it's already visible, if the GUI is already up, if it looks like this, it's already open, then we want to make it invisible. We want to close the GUI. And the way we do that is say suggestions frame dot visible equals false. And then otherwise, so if it's already closed and we want to open it up, if it's like this, we want to make it visible, we want to open it. What we'll do is we'll say suggestions frame dot visible equals true, just like that. And that'll make it so that we can toggle our GUI on and off by clicking that suggest feature button. After this, what I want to do, we have four more lines to go in this whole system. 
we want to get whenever the player clicks that submit button, uh, it's right over here, whenever they click this button, we want to fire this remote event over here, which in turn would send data up to Discord. We want to post our suggestion to Discord, uh, whatever is in this suggestion box right here. So we'll hook into the mouse button one click event of this submit button. So we'll say submit button dot mouse button one click, connect it up to a function. And then inside of this function, I want to get the text that the player put in the suggestions box. So the way we do that is we say suggestions box, and we want to get the text property of that. So we'll say local suggestion equals suggestions box dot text stored in a variable. Uh, and then after this, we have one more thing to do. We just want to fire this remote event. And all that means is we want to send data up to the Roblox server. We want to communicate from the client to the server just so that it can send it up to Discord. We want to fire this remote event. And then we want to pass in the suggestion that the player just made. So we'll say game.replicatedStorage.suggest colon fire server. And then we want to pass in the suggestion. And that'll put it up to the server, and then that'll send it all the way up to Discord. And that's actually all we have to do for the script. We can head into the game and we can try it out. So all we do is we hop on in, and what we can do is, you can see right here, we can already open and close the GUI by pressing this button. And now we can type our suggestion here. Maybe my suggestion is cool game or something like that. And then whenever we press the submit button, you'll see the message comes up to Discord, just like this. Suggestion from my player name, cool game. Very cool, and then we can close the GUI again by clicking this button. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I'll have the paste and link with the code and the Roblox model link with all the assets shown in this video in the description, and I'll see you guys later.